Mm -hmm. Woo. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. A skillet. Um, like this, this skillet. You know what I get? The, the chicken skillet. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, today I'm going to give um, we're going to talk for real with this story because this is some real crazy, crazy, crazy type of stuff. Dear, dear white folks that's in the audience, you need to speak up or forever hold your peace. In terms of this critical race theory, I need to know what y'all, the majority of y'all think about this craziness. The, the gist of the critical race theory objection is because y'all are so fragile, and this is what they mean by white fragility. Some of, of the lawmakers and uh, are so, and people that are of fight or uh, um, are advocating for this are so um, repulsed by your own history that you would rather lie and and try to withhold it than to reveal it so we can heal it. Now this is the most insidious, insane. Logic y'all have ever put across since I've been here. Well, what I've been getting? Tell them, you know what I've been getting? Who asked me? A breakfast skillet. Yes, it is. Your mama get it from me all the time. They have eggs in there and avocado oh. and that. Our eggs, avocado, um, whatever else is in it. Chicken, I thought. Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry. This has got to be one of the most ridiculous coward cop out. thinking process that y'all trying to inflict on the human family. Now, everybody else got to give an account for their stuff. I go rob a bank, you go, and I get caught, you're going to hold me accountable. You're going to make me go to jail, and you're going to be in a position to be like a Khalifa to rule judgment over me. Now, when people are talking about the history of this country, instead of y'all facing your ugly-ass history, you would rather come up with some C, uh, criminal, uh, uh, what critical race theory so you won't feel guilty? Do you know what that's saying about how crazy y'all really are? How sick and repulsive you can possibly be that you are so ashamed of your history that people don't got to teach it got to be sneaky because you don't want it done in school because you don't want to hurt the white kids' feelings. But you don't mind about the black and brown kids' feelings hurting every day by the shit you did to them. You are arrogant, you are pompous, and you are insane. Anybody with that, that agrees with the critical race theory, I'm going to call y'all out. You're crazy. You can't handle You got white fragility. You cannot handle the truth. And with that being said, that means you're lose, living a delusion. And you want your babies to live a delusion. And you can't handle the truth. Yet you want to put yourself in a judgment seat of everybody else. Say what should happen to everybody else that ain't white. But you white people cannot handle the history and the ugly details that you need to come to grips with. So we can move forward in this country. Because the more you bury it. Don't you understand. The most powerful African proverb is truth. 
pressed to the earth will rise. Will rise. So ain't nothing you can really do to erase our history from being over here with you guys. The evil mistreatment, the selling of our babies, the raping of our children, men folk and women folk. There's no way around this history. The beatings, the whippings, the lynchings. There's no way around it. Buckle up. Put on your big boy drawers or your big girl panties. You silly, silly white people. And deal with it. Deal with it. Like we got to deal with y'all bullshit every day. The bullshit. We got to sit up here and listen to y'all lies. You're twisting of every truth. That's why the Native Americans said a white man speak with forked tongue. Because you are a master liar, a master deceiver. And now you want to deceive the whole world instead of letting our children, children are resilient. They can understand. No, they're not going to like their ugly, nasty history. Just like I don't like your nasty, ugly history. But we're resilient. We'll get through it as a country. If you don't choose to get through it, this country is going to fall apart. You dumb fucks. You dumb fucks. Critical race theory. Yeah, I said it. And I meant every word of it. Every word of it. How you going to not teach somebody history and try to save and, and prevent you white people from feeling safe about, oh, I can't take it. I can't take it. I'm just going to make my children feel bad about themselves. Well, this is what your ancestors did. And we don't want to hear no more bullshit about George Washington cutting down a cherry tree unless you're going to talk about George Washington had slaves. We're not going to hear no more bullshit about Thomas Jefferson and the Declaration of Independence unless you're going to talk about how he raped Sally Hennings and gave her babies and she was 14 and he was a 40-something-year-old man. And now this same government want to put R. Kelly in jail. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about our ugly-ass history. I'm sick of you liars, you demons. That want to cover up the truth every chance you get. I said my piece and I meant every damn word. I want to know what y'all think. Y'all think this critical race theory is a good thing? You think that black children and brown children don't deserve to know the truth about our history? We already know. But are we tired of having these people whitewash what the fuck they did to us and don't want to deal with it and then got the nerve to always put themselves in the place of a Khalifa to judge other people. Put them in jail for life. Do all kinds of manner evil. Shoot them down. But they can't deal with their history. No, 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 no. If you don't deal with it now, you're going to suffer the consequences later. That I guarantee you. What y'all think about what I said? Because I ain't trying to pussyfoot around the shit. Now you just seen the real, 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 real saltiness of my mindset when it comes to these lies that you're trying to push on the human family. We can take it. Deal with it. And if black people had to deal with what we had to deal with, with the Hell y'all did to us and we still standing as Monica say. Then y'all do the same. And if you decide to jump out the windows because you can't deal with it. Oh, well, so be it.